Hey, what's up YouTube? Just got my 75 gallon tank. Finally, finally just got done setting it up, mounting the light. Got the rockscape in, got the sand in, painted the back black. I actually tried to plasti dip it first, but this tank came to I got it delivered to me and uh the brackets were already put on, the tank and everything was already on the stand and this, everything was already like kind of put together a little bit, so I couldn't take the tank off the stand to plasti dip it, so the paint kind of dripped, so I had to redo it. Uh, I got two big pieces of jumbo shrimp in there. Hold on, let's see if you can see. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Uh, where they at? Uh, big two two jumbo shrimps right there. Getting this thing ready to cycle. I used a whole bottle of special blend. Um. I still have my five fish up in quarantine. They are done. They have been treated with Prozzi Pro. They've been treated with Coopermine Copper. I'm going to show you guys the bottom of the tank. It ain't really the best. I didn't have really no tools. I didn't have a good drill. So I couldn't perfectly get this how I wanted it down here. But, you know, it'll do the job for now. It's really messy back there. I got to zip tie some stuff up down there. Sump right here. Simplicity protein skimmer. Got a nice little sump. Uh, really good heaters. The only thing I did not add yet to this tank is Seacom Pond Matrix. I do need to get that. I mean, I got a lot of rock in here, so I'm not too worried about it right now. But I'm gonna. I have it already. I just haven't. I got to get the mesh bags to put it in there. I was not gonna use mesh bags. Then I was like, you know what? Yeah, I should probably use mesh bags because I don't want, I don't want to accidentally like get a rock jammed up in my pump and in my pump break. Don't got the money to go replace it right now. So I'm hoping this tank doesn't take too long to cycle, but it is what it is. I'm gonna let it, you know, zero nitrites, zero ammonia, low nitrates. As soon as that's there, I'm gonna take my fish out of the quarantine tank, and I am gonna place them in the main display um, I, I, got, I set up another quarantine tank I actually cycled this tank it's a fully cycled tank down in my basement so I'm getting ready to order uh, three fish the fish that are, it's a 30 gallon quarantine tank I'm gonna I'm gonna treat them it's gonna be a powder blue tang a, a bristle tooth to mini tang and a coral beauty angel fish will go in one Whenever I take those other fish out of the quarantine tank that I have upstairs, I'm going to get a yellow tang, flame angel, a purple dotty back, and hopefully a black cat basslet. I think there's a couple other fish I want, and then I am done. I say about six months down the road, I'm going to want to try to start corals. I did nothing but research, 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 research. I feel like... I'm not ready yet, but I'll be ready whenever I get my fish in here and my fish are all healthy. I'm not going to start corals until my fish are all healthy. What else did I want to tell you guys? Um, the lighting that I'm using is ATI T5s. I'm actually running three purples and one white light. It's a more of a relaxed look. I only have one white light that runs. I'm going to have the, I have the timer set up, but they're messed up. i got to redo them. They didn't work the way I thought they were going to, so I got to redo it. I have the t the white lights are set to come on at 12 p.m. They're set to go off at 8 p.m. The blue lights also come on at 12, but they don't go off till 2 a.m. I work at nighttime. I work 10 to 6. I work from 10 at night to 6 in the morning, so I'm up I'm up late. So I want to have my moon lights on until 2 in the morning, which I think that's going to be cool, you know. And then it's completely dark for 10 hours. That's perfect. That's that's a good schedule, you know. Um, other than that. Oh, also, I'm sorry. I have an auto dosing pump that, that's going to be installed in here. I don't need to do that until I start corals because I'm not dosing anything right now. And I also have a auto top off unit, and I will be putting that in here. I just got to get something to uh, raise it up above the sump. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell, guys. Thank you. Bye.